Hello, my cooking family. Y'all buckle up and hold on. I'm on my way to Dad's house. We're going to be whooping up a chocolate peanut butter chip cookie and cash time today. It's going to be so good. Y'all stay tuned to this one on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Welcome to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Now this is one of the easiest chocolate chip cookies you'll ever make. I'm making this thing in the whole bottom of the cast iron pan, but you can also drop them on a cookie sheet if you want to, but I'm showing you how to make a cast iron cookie today. Check this out. It's almost like, a, it's really like a one pot thing. And another thing, let me show you this. It calls for two cups of chips. Now you can go with two cups of chocolate chips. You can go with two cups of just peanut butter chips. But I'm going with one cup of chocolate chips, one cup of peanut butter chips, because I love Reese's. How many other people love a Reese's? And besides this, y'all, use the chip of your choice. But this right here today is going to be a chocolate peanut butter chip cookie. Come on in, let me show you how to do this. Okay, like I say, it's one of the easiest you'll ever do. Look, I went ahead and started it out just for time's sake. Y'all, we've got two sticks of unsalted room temperature butter. I've got a half a cup of white sugar. I've got one whole cup of brown sugar. And what we're going to do is go ahead and stir this up. Stir it up good and incorporate all that together. Your butter needs to be soft. It needs to be, I've had mine out in the room for about 30 minutes out of the refrigerator. Okay, there's about a minute of stirring. Now we're going to add two eggs out, but we're going to add them one at a time. Crack that egg, put that boy in there. Stir it back up. Y'all, your grandkids or kids would love to make this with you. So easy. Once you get that first egg combined real good, go ahead and put your other one in. Combine it up good. By the way, I'm using a 12 inch cast iron pan. You're really putting it all in the bottom of it and putting it in the oven about 15 20 minutes, and that's it. All right, now that I've got my egg real good and stirred in, I'm gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now we're talking about pure vanilla extract, not vanilla flavoring, which there probably won't be that big of a difference, but I like the extract. Two teaspoons going in. One, two, give it a good stir. Okay, next I'm gonna get my teaspoon of baking soda and my two teaspoons of hot water Combine them up and pour it in. And by the way, I'm using baking soda, not baking powder. Okay, I've got the teaspoon of baking soda and the two teaspoons of hot water here. Mixing it up real good, putting it in. Give it a good stir. Okay, after we've got the baking soda mixture stirred in, we're gonna be adding two and a half cups of flour. There's one, there's two, and a half. I'm gonna stir that up. Stir it real well. It's going to take just a minute to stir it in. Get it all incorporated. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. You know, you can really add this salt anywhere in the recipe. Stir that up. Now, right here's the fun part. Like I said, everybody, this recipe calls for two cups of chips. You can use two cups of just chocolate chips, but I'm going with a cup of chocolate chips and a cup of peanut butter chips. So let's put a cup of chocolate chips in there. One cup going in. Here's the peanut butter chips. Let's go in with it. Okay, going in. And y'all, after you get this right here stirred in, that is it. It's ready for the cast iron skillet. And by the way, when you start mixing your mixture up, go ahead and preheat your oven at 375, bake, put your cast iron pan in it. Let it sit in there about 10 minutes while you're mixing this up. Just mix till everything's real good and even. A minute or two, you know, you'll have it ready. Okay, that's it. That's ready to go into the cast iron. Let me get it over here out of the oven. Okay, I've got my cast iron over here. Now what I'm gonna do is just, now this thing's hot. Now it's been in the oven, so be very careful. Especially if you're letting your babies help you with it. What we wanna do is get all that over in there. How many of y'all notice I switched spoons on it because that wooden spoon wasn't getting all this out? <laughs> okay, now that's good enough. Put the bowl aside. Remember, this thing's hot. 
So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and handle it with one of these because I need to turn it just a little bit. I've got it on a pot holder right here, see that? Now we're just gonna get this and smooth it out on the bottom. Now y'all, this is a 12 inch pan I'm using right here. 12 inch cast iron pan. All right, that's good enough. Let's go to the oven. Get this boy and put it right in there. 375, preheated with a pan preheated too. 15 or 20 minutes it'll be done. Okay, the cook is done, everybody. Let's get it out of the oven. There it is. Get it over here. Look at that, y'all. That cookie is going to be perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, y'all, like I said, I'm going to let this thing cool off before I even try to cut it. I mean, I hurry it up. I got quiet practice in that. Just know that that thing is good and it's the real deal. It's easy to make. I mean, it's so easy. You can probably read my mind. See if you can read my mind. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good, everybody. You got to try it. If you said, mmm, 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 it's so good, everybody, you got to try it, you read my mind. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me today on Country Board Cooking with Marshall, where Jesus is always Lord.